Hello little Einsteins, I'm Vicky, your online tutor, teaching you today about periodic functions and their properties. So here we have a sine function graphed. There is one maximum and one minimum. Based on this graph, you can tell that the function is periodic because of the pattern of the y values that repeats at regular intervals. The interval is 2 pi and this represents the cycle. The horizontal length of the cycle is called the period of the function. And so as you can see by the continuous drawing, it continues on and on at repeated intervals. So based on this graph, we find out that yes, it is a periodic function. And we note this based on the period. To find out your period, you have to look where your cycle begins and ends. So you know it begins at the origin, 0, 0, and 2 pi, 0. And that's 2 pi is 360 degrees. Finding your amplitude is simple. All you have to do is find your max and your min. So your max occurs at pi over 2, which is equivalent to 90, and 3 pi over 2, which is equivalent to 270 degrees. Basically, the amplitude of the function is defined as half the difference between the max value and the minimum value. So once you have those two points, you're going to know your y values. So let's find our amplitude using our max and min. The equation for amplitude is max minus min over 2. So since the max is at 1 and the min is at negative 1, 1 minus negative 1 over 2 equals 2 over 2 equals 1. Next, you want to locate your equation of axis, as this is the equation, the horizontal line halfway between the maximum and minimum. And this is determined by your maximum plus minimum divided by 2. So now let's calculate for our equation of axis. The formula is maximum plus minimum over 2. So we already know the max and min is 1 and negative 1, so 1 plus negative 1 over 2 equals 0 over 2, which just equals 0. However, the answer is not simply 0. It is an equation of a line. Therefore, you must put y equals 0. Next, we have the cosine function graph. This is a periodic function because of pattern of y values are at regular intervals. When you compare this function to a cosine function, it's basically the same thing, just translated to the left and right by certain amount of degrees. So let's look at the cos function properties like we did for sine. The first thing we know is that yes, it is periodic because of the pattern of y values at regular intervals. The period is 2 pi, which is equivalent to 360 degrees because that is the x value total um, from where it begins and starts again, and this is the whole cycle. Using the formula for amplitude max minus min over 2, we know 1 is the max, negative 1 is the minimum, so 1 minus negative 1 over 2 equals 2 over 2, which equals 1. Using the equation of axis formula, we plug in 1 as the max and negative 1 as the min. Therefore, 1 plus negative 1 over 2 equals 0 over 2, which makes the final answer y equals 0. And as simple as that, you know how to find the properties of periodic functions. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Subscribe for more.